Yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Smojo, and welcome back to another video. First of all, I want to say thank you for tuning in. You are awesome. And since you're so awesome, I already know you're gonna like the video, right? You just, you just click that guy. Just go get the goddamn check mark, get the, the thumbs up, click that guy, click it. But for real, before we get into the video, I would like to tell you guys that I'm doing a giveaway if you guys want to enter. Uh, it is a merch giveaway. Since we are moving over to our fall collection of merch, we're doing a fall collection merch giveaway. So if you guys are interested in that, links will be down in the description of this video. Make sure you guys go enter. It's basically free fucking uh, tires it's free shirts it's free clothes who doesn't want free clothes but yeah make sure you guys enter and i'll see you there anyways let's get into the video on how many couch potatoes that you guys get within an hour of farming the goaters in mirage now if you guys don't know i've done a video like this previously it was like a few months ago a lot of things have changed within wizard 101 so i figured i'd do it again maybe i'll get different results and i wanted it to be a little bit more detailed of a video since that video is way outdated in my editing style my my personality has changed everything everything about Smo has changed in that video is not a good representation of of me so we're doing another video because i want to now i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of rundown what i did uh in the last video the results of me farming one hour in the gultures of mirage i got two couch potatoes in that one hour of farming i bring that up because we're gonna need it later to compare the results of that to the results of this and yeah so i farmed the gultures in mirage for one hour it was exactly one hour out of this hour i had 80 to 120 battles now i did i didn't record each time my character went into a battle and won you know what i mean i was i was doing something else on the side so i did i did like a little bit of an average the, the real result was like a hundred and something but i just minus it by 20 and added it by 20 just to get like a nice you know baseline of how many battles it really was because i definitely was not paying attention each and every battle the lengths of the battles range from between 15 seconds to a minute and 40 15 seconds being i'm the first person that gets to choose a card or whatever i choose my card i kill them insta kill first round they're dead the one minute and 40 is when they go first they both do two attack spells and then you gotta wait for my spell animation so it's a lot longer so it could really range i guess you could say the bottom line is at the end of the day i got two cash potatoes from the gultures and mirage which i think is fucking dog shit okay i think that's horrible i think that's just bad like two cash potatoes within an hour of farming look i haven't farmed cash potatoes in a while and a very long time so i kind of forgot how the drop rates of the other locations are but two cash potatoes per hour I think that's horrible. And the fact that I also got two couch potatoes in an hour of farming eight months ago in my other video, I really feel like the Gultures and Mirage is at the bottom tier of places to farm couch potatoes, honestly. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Gultures and Mirage do have some upsides, which I'm about to say now. Their health is on the lower side and they're also death mods. They have 2000 health and for the weakest school in the entire wizard 101 universe being life class you guys actually have a boost to them so if you're a life wizard and you want to farm some couch potatoes this place might not be too bad they have 2000 health and they take 15 percent incoming boost from life so i mean you could benefit from that other versus other schools which is really nice and on top of that you won't have to use your potions as much because in the main base area of mirage there's like a hella power pit. i mean there's like hella health pips everywhere so you really don't need to use your potion you just gotta walk back and then walk forward take you about 15 seconds you know mana is a different story though but in my hour farming i didn't even use up all my mana i probably used like 200 or something some other boosts is that the gultures and mirage have some cars that kind of work in your favor sometimes they will cast berserk on themselves which uh, give them a 40% increase of damage, which is really nice. And sometimes they'll faint you. And since you're pretty much just going to kill, that's a free plus 20% trap on the dude. You know what I mean? And also they sometimes use dark pack, which damages themselves. There's been a countless times, like a, at least like 20 battles where I wouldn't kill them for some reason. I don't know, crit block or whatever the fuck, but I wouldn't kill them. They would have 50 health, right? And then they would use dark pack and then kill themselves, which is really nice. So, I mean, there's another benefit, but overall, even with all the benefits of the, the, the health, pips the health or whatever i still think this place is poor just because of the number of cash potatoes you get which is only two per hour at least for me you know it might be different for you uh i, I read that somebody got like 10 and 15 minutes which i mean i need to see proof um but but for me to farm this place for two hours and only get four cash potatoes in two different instances is just bad you know i i i don't like it this is not my go-to place for cash potato farming at all but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video you found it informative uh leave down below in the comments my friends on what place i should farm next uh i'm looking at secret tunnel i think that's the next place i'm gonna farm and i need some more places so please leave down in the comments below of your 
go to couch potato, couch potato farming spots or any other farming spots whether it be jewels pierce jewels whatever jewels crit jewels maybe uh emps or whatever whatever the items that people just farm for a bunch of times you know what i mean just leave them down in the comments i'll check them out make a video shout you out you already know but yeah other than that hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day and don't forget to enter the merch giveaway Murder the beat, let me murder the beat Cause you know I'ma throw my little thing to it Yeah, it's my birthday And it's still still Like a word, yeah Come to the vibes so nothing can hurt me Ha, ha